Hey there guys, Sean Michael here from WinBeta and welcome to another video. Today is our first video in a brand new series where we take a look into different apps and features inside of Windows 10. Today's video is about Cortana. Cortana is Microsoft's personal and digital assistant and she's honestly pretty useful. She does a lot of different things including gathering information, keeping track of things for you, and you have the ability to ask her all sorts of questions including searching through the system and various applications. To use Cortana to its fullest, you're going to have to become pretty familiar with the notebook. That allows you to customize what you see in this Cortana home screen. She can tell you restaurants that are nearby, movie times, news, sports information, including scores, and she can even do things like track flights and packages. She's definitely useful, and the real goal of Cortana is for her to take care of things in the background so you don't have to, just like a real-life life assistant would. You can customize these cards in your notebook by just easily switching toggle switches on or off. If you're not a big fan of events, she doesn't have to show those for you. And what that ends up with is a very personalized screen setting here. You have you know, weather that you can expand, you can keep track of your calendar. But if you don't like something, you can just tell it to go away. If you don't want news that's recommended, you can just hide it. And then it's not there anymore. Now each of these individual cards is also customizable. So if you're a big sports fan, you can tell Cortana which teams are your favorites, and she'll keep track of those specifically. You can tell her things like if you want updates for the scores of those games or not, because if you're already watching, it's going to be irritating to get those, but you might want to know something like the upcoming schedule. There's similar, similar functionality inside of things like finance, where you can track multiple stocks, and a bunch of these other cards. Cortana gathers information from multiple different sources. For example, if you want to track a flight, she does have the ability to search through your emails if you have that option turned on and find flight information for you. But if you prefer to just enter things manually, that's also an option. What's the status of flight DL925? Delta Airlines flight 92. So there you go. They also have the option that you can just click track that flight. So if you're not comfortable with her searching through your emails for information and tracking, that sort of thing, then you can just turn that off. A way to do that is in settings inside the notebook section and just scrolling down, they have an option right here for find flights and more. You can just turn that off right there. Now, next up after Cortana's notebook are reminders. These are especially useful if you have multiple devices running Cortana, such as Windows Phone or Windows 10 mobile devices, and pretty soon things like Xbox One or even HoloLens. Because Cortana can follow you from one device to another, the reminders can do the same thing. If you set a reminder on your desktop when you're at work, it can remind you of something on your phone when you're out and about. You can set reminders on three different key aspects, time, place, or person. I find that reminders kind of pop up on your everyday life and you want to set them and you might be in mixed company or in public. It'd be a bit awkward to talk with, to your microphone or say, hold on a sec while I talk into Cortana to set a reminder. You can just type into Cortana as well. So if you say something like, next time I talk to Leah, remind me to tell her that I have a meeting tomorrow. She's going to ask which Leah because I have two of my contacts. And you can do that and just say, remind me. So that's great. So now if I get a message from Leah, it's going to say, hey, remind me, you know, here's your reminder. Tell her that you have a meeting. Now, as you can see, Cortana is doing all of this without having to jump to another app or opening any other type of service or program. I just want to show you a few really cool features that you're going to use on a regular basis if you use Cortana on the desktop. One of which is sending an email. Send an email to Ron. I hope you like the new video. Here's your email. Send it, add a subject, or make changes. You can see here that I can even customize which email address this is coming from. I watch a lot of movies, so being able to check movie times without having to jump between multiple websites is a really big deal to me, and Cortana lets you do that. Show me movie times for The Martian in Gaithersburg. You could see The Martian at AMC. So it has that one theater, but it also shows other theaters in the area, which is a really handy feature. Now there's two Cortana features I want to show off that instead of staying inside that little Cortana box, actually take you somewhere else, but are really useful. One of which is that you can basically search anywhere in your computer or on the web. So if you look for a file, maybe I don't remember where I saved something. Is it on OneDrive? Is it a Dropbox? I'm not sure. You can just search for it. Search for like a keyword. So I'm looking for my budget. There you go. It's got everything that has a budget, that sort of thing on there. That also works if you're looking for an application, such as maybe Roku. You want to find your Roku remote. You can click that there, and it would take you somewhere else 
So that's really useful if you're trying to find a setting, if you're trying to change your region settings, if you're trying to you know, find something that you don't know where it is on your computer or a file that you're trying to find, definitely a useful feature there. Cortana can also open an app and then perform a task on the way in through in-app integration. Fitbit, Wonderlist, and a bunch of other apps support this, including Netflix. You can do a search for something like a specific actor, TV show, or movie, and then should yield those results. Netflix, find community. All right, Netflix is finding community. So you go Netflix and load up there, and it'll find your TV show there. Community, one of my favorites. Great. Now, as I said, this isn't an exhaustive list. There are a bunch of features and things that I couldn't go through in this short video. And Cortana's continuing to grow. She already has the ability to tell you if you have a meeting, when you should leave, and that sort of thing. But there's also integration with things like Uber rolling out, which will not only be able to tell you if you need an Uber, but also could just help you book one right there. Who knows what features are going to come up in a year from now. We might have to make another in-depth with Cortana video. But at least for now, this has been a brief overview of what you can do and how you can do it. See you again on the next one.